but look at those sleeves. Like yes. Now, would, could other things have those sleeves? Sure. <laughs> other, <laughs> like you know, I mean. <laughs> what do you got in mind here? Well, bloomies are forever. Hi everyone. I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And we have two large clothing boxes from Indo Trading USA. This is a place that we've previously purchased a couple boxes from, correct? Correct. And we made a video about that as well. Correct. And we've been selling really well from those boxes. And I probably have another 70 pieces to go. And we've made about $600 so far. That's wonderful. Thanks. You, you're saying, when you say we've made $600 so far in profit, you mean? No. Oh, just the money back that we've... Correct. Okay, so far. Well, that's still great. And though. the video will probably wind up making a few hundred dollars. So once I have the additional 70 pieces sold, I would expect to profit after eBay fees, PayPal fees, taxes, maybe four to five, six hundred dollars. Well, you know who has a little bit to do with how much money the video makes? Who? You, the viewer. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button, hit that like, phone the neighbors and wake the kids. Okay, so we're going to <laughs> go ahead and jump into this. This was 50 piece lot for 520, 50 piece lot for 520. They sold out of the 100 piece lot, which was the biggest they had offered that day. And they sold completely out of the Nordstrom, Nordstrom rack uh, clothing boxes within nine hours. That's pretty impressive. It's really very is. impressive. So, you want to open the box? Yes, but I want to start with a very quick story in that, you know, most of our viewers know that sometimes we go out looking for free stuff. We do. By the road. And this is something I found by the side of the road. It's like a safety knife, but you have to click this handle before the blade becomes expo exposed. So we're going to use this new fine armor. <laughs> <laughs> sure, everybody's very excited. I'm going to have to move. Move. Do it. It's a very large box. <laughs> I'm very large trying to move around the box. <laughs> now, what do I, what's the procedure here? Should I just... Simply... Yeah, maybe I should move. Okay. How about that? That's fine. So the price of the boxes did go up from last time. I believe I was getting 100 pieces for $700 shipped. This is basically 100 pieces for $1,040. So I questioned why the prices went up. I'm sure it's because um, so many people were happy with their boxes the first time. And supposedly the quality is much better. So we'll see if that's the case. I had such a good box last time. I, I, yeah, I, uh, you explained that very well. I'm not Thanks. sure that that reasoning actually w worked though. You know what I mean? Like, oh, our box is sold really well, so let's raise the price. Yeah. That, I, I mean, in a way, you're... We'll see. Yeah. We'll right? see. Yeah. Okay, the first item is John Varvatos, originally $328. These are nice. Feel these. They're like a linen. Yes, they are. They're like a greenish too, right? Yes. Okay. They're men's 29R and it has the Nordstrom rack label and they were being sold for $150 at Nordstrom, but originally $320. Okay. So again, my thing's always going to be with the prices. Uh, your the the original price yes. was the list price was three twenty eight for these mm -hmm. pants. Yep. Okay. And Nordstrom was selling them for what? One fifty. One fifty, and then and then they were clearanced out for sixty dollars, and nobody bought them. So and now, they've been, now yeah. they're in our box. Well, they look really nice though. Yes. So far, impressed. <laughs> With the one pair of pants. With one pair of pants. Okay. Okay. This is a Hurley soft T-shirt. Oh, that's a surf company. Right? It is a surf yeah. company. This t-shirt probably retailed for what, like, I think $18. Okay. This right. is something uh, that I would see, and I worked one summer at the Ocean City, Maryland, and these were Hurley, I know the name. Like, a couple guys that I worked with, new guys that owned a surf shop. Okay. Yeah. This is a woman's t-shirt retailed for $21.97. It's called Abound. Feel the, the sleeves. Oh. 
The sleeves are almost like a crisper cotton and then the t-shirt is a very soft cotton. No, I'm sure that these sleeves have some kind of, what are they? What, what's it called? They call, what am I going to call these? A, a cap flutter sleeve. That's, you just made that up, you're saying? Those are two words. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, those are two words. Okay, Topshop retailed for $35. There is a big mark on the front. It's just like a dust mark. This is a very odd shirt. Yes, it is. Well, they if if oh, there was a mark if, on the back. if there was a, a lot of stained once again they would, contact they would contact. yeah but other than that they they they've been great about it yeah they have been great their customer service is like today you contacted them and literally it was like minutes later you said that was eBay oh, okay it's okay This is my second Lewitt piece. This would have retailed for $500. And it is a gray, I don't know what material that is, but feel uh, free to, <laughs> to touch it. Uh, it. Well, it feels, as I'm guessing, it's supposed to be sort of water resistant. It's cotton viscose. That's what I'm saying. It probably, yeah. It's probably very water repellent. So it's like yeah, coat. $500 coat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I better follow you around with an umbrella for five hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't want to pull. And, okay, there we go. The next item is Eileen Fisher. I am thrilled so far. This is a size three X. It is a waffle weave organic linen cotton slub. Retail for a hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Did they run out of adjectives? I know, there? right? Okay. <laughs> This should sell for probably sixty to eighty dollars. Now this is a blouse. You would call that a blouse? Uh, a knit sweater top. Okay. In coral, and coral uh, is the color of the air. Well, it's nice. It's nice, right? It's very nice. You, you would you wear something like that? I totally would if this was my size and color. Okay. This is a nice piece too. This is leaf. Yes. It retails for $149 at Nordstrom. Now this doesn't have the original tag, it just has the Nordstrom tag. So if it was being sold at Nordstrom for $149, I'm guessing this was probably a couple hundred. It feels like a drape. It totally does. <laughs> uh, I almost said I'll try that on, but I, well, the colors aren't. What is this now again? It's, a it's an overcoat, like a duster. Oh, okay. It's, oh, okay. You know, the like a nightgownish type yes. deal or robe. This is something navy, which we had something navy in our last box. Extra small. Feel this. Yeah, it feels like uh like some kind of wool. Is this wool? Yeah, well it like feels very bouncy. It feels it feels like thermal underneath, sort of. You know what I mean? Like yeah. but the the outside is sort of woolish cotton poly acrylic wool spandex okay well they covered all the bases in that as well sure did so this is a dress this is a sweater dress yeah this is beautiful it doesn't say how much it retailed for can we well i'm sure we can take time to find that tino it looks like uh 139. um why is that somebody's signature? What's yeah, I think to somebody signed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no, probably just an employee that's a probably. Okay. All right. But it does have the something no. navy tags on it. So is this something like you know some socialite in Utah would wear skiing? I mean, after skiing hours or something. Possibly, like yeah. This is just one of those pieces that's. And how about how you in my hypothetical situation? Mike? I love it. Do you have a Thank character you. in mind who's going skiing? Well, no, but you're always good at that, so. I thought I'd let you come up with one. <laughs> it might be safer, actually. Because <laughs> I assume that's a girl's sweater, right? Yes. So it wouldn't be good for me to come up with a hypothetical girl for that good sweater. Good point. Yes. This is J Brand. J Brand does really well. This is the Ruby High Rise Crop. Originally $198. Well, high Rise means it rides a little higher up on your hips? Yes, right? which is very nice. Up on the waist. Oh, okay. So if you have like a cropped shirt, and you oh. bent over, you'd be okay. Size 29, so a good size. That's probably somewhere in the 6, 8 range. Yeah, very nice. Thrilled with those. 
My only question is, isn't the purpose of a crop top so you see part of your stomach? It is, but even with a high rise, you'll still see a little sliver. Okay. Not like a giant chunk. Some oh, people really like oh. high rise. Oh, okay. Then we have a Vince Camuto 2X Houndstooth. This is like a business woman's sweater. Sweater. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just open front cardigan, very loose, layery piece. Retailed for one thirty-four. Well, it feels like it feels good. Nice. It feels like it's made of good stuff. You yeah, know? it really does. <laughs> I didn't say that very you well. You did that. You know, <laughs> perfect. Oh, I love this. This is sundry. I have never found a sundry piece out in the wild. <laughs> um, it would have retailed for only thirty-five dollars. It's their size four, so that's a woman's four. You're bringing me visions of a guy with a camera stalking through. Uh, I think we've spotted a sundry. sundry. A sundry here. Yeah. This this would have been super cute for Valentine's Day, but honestly, it it's just cute year round. This is just a girl's top. It's a woman's. Woman's top. Woman's top. Ivy Park. This is a spell out Ivy Park. Is that? Yeah, I've never heard of that. Never. Beyonce. I have no idea. Ivy Park is Rihanna. I'm guessing all the wrong people. Now this is a men's, right? I'm thinking it's a woman's. I could oh. be wrong. I don't know if Ivy Park does men's and women's. It just oh. says large. So oh, okay. I don't know. But this is a very famous deal you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I'm in love with this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Caslon, size 1X, retailed for $69, which would have been a steal for this. This is very reminiscent of Free People. Okay, I have to go with my first musical reference story. Okay. Well, for some reason, something in my head got me to A Bad Time to Be in Love. Oh. Which is a Bad Company song, something you said. So I'm sure there's some Bad Company fans out there who know that song. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Okay. Next we have really short shorts. Good luck, Jim. They retail for $44. They are a size small, just really tiny black shorts. Okay. Ooh, we got a skirt. Retailed for, oh, it's. Well, we should have had that earlier in the month for St. Patrick's Day. I know. Oh, DQ had free ice cream today. <laughs> I forgot to tell you until now. Sorry, we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is Topshop Moto. Topshop is popular, but their brand is a lesser name. So this would have retailed for like $30. It's still cute though. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for more information on this free ice cream thing. <laughs> because I didn't really hear much past that. To it tell you is the truth. a free vanilla <laughs> cone. All right. And why, why are we getting free vanilla cones? It's free cone day. Okay. March 20th is oh. free ice cream cone day at DQ. Okay. Yeah, well. You might go after this, <laughs> no, right? I don't know. Here's another top shop. Oh, I forgot to say the size of that one. Can I have that one back? You certainly the can. The grass green one. Yes, this one is the size European 40, US 8. That's a very green green. Yeah, this one is a 42, so US 10. This one's like a lavender lilac. What color are we coloring that? Uh, I like pink. Pink. I like right? pink, yeah. It's pretty it's close really nice. to just pink. Well, uh, Orchid, now, maybe. when you say uh, one's a 42, one size is a 42, one's a 10. A 42, is that the actual waist size? That's a European size. So one's an 8, one's a 10. Yes, I understand. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying, are Europeans, do they, they're not doing that either. No. Okay. They just, <laughs> they just come up that arbitrary number on their own. I think so. Right? Yep. Okay. This is lovely. This only retailed for $45. It's Wow. It's a very nice stretch velvet. Who's making this? This is like a free a press. Fancy dinner dress? Yeah. So this is. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, it's very nice. You would look wonderful in that. Thanks. What size is this? Mm -hmm. Because I'm wearing this? No, it's a small. Okay. It'd be too small on me. But the bottom has like a very loose pleat. It's it's stunning. Oh! I think I have this in the last box. I did, and I sold it. So if somebody else wanted the Gibson, this is a size medium. It is purple, open front cardigan. And does they, it... You call this a cardigan? Yeah. 
Okay. Because a cardigan usually is open in the front. Yes. Sometimes you button it up and sometimes it's just an open cardigan. Yes, I understand. But I, in my mind, I've never known anything that wasn't a sweater referred to as a cardigan. Are you saying that you can refer to something other than a sweater sure. as a cardigan? Sure. Okay. A cardigan top. I okay. probably okay. refer to it. All right. Yeah, it's in great condition. What's well, brand new, right? Yeah, but some of the things have oh. like little dust or whatever. Oh, okay. This is Babo. I don't know. Size large. The color is evening blush. It rings of peach to me. It does look very pale peach. Yeah. And it has this little tie. Yes. This retailed for, I don't know, maybe $20? No, $30. $30. Okay, yeah. Now here's my, my speed. I'm sure this is a good place for me to ask you this. For example, what reasonably do you think you're going to get out of a piece like this? Maybe $15. Okay. That's still... Mm -mm. More than uh, you paid for per piece, sure. sort of. So I paid fifty dollars, yeah. so ten dollars a piece, yeah, roughly. $10, yes, roughly. Some of the stuff I'll get a lot more, but okay. some of it, yeah. But uh, that's what I thought. Maybe yeah. this was perhaps a piece where you wouldn't get. Gotcha. Are there some pieces like probably? That? I'll like you know. Okay. This is Reebok. They're okay. leggings. They retailed for thirty-five dollars, and they say Reebok down the side. Cool. So these I might only get $10, $15 for. They're a size small. And they say classic on this side. Oh, they say classic. Mm -hmm. So this spell out thing is pretty popular. I don't know how popular now, these are. Is. These are male or female or unisex or whatever, I guess. I'm probably going to say, oh, there's a little patch there. Uh, probably female. Okay. Oh, we hit the workout section. I didn't have a workout section last time. Oh, that's time. what this is? Yeah. CC retailed for $69. Wow. Um, it is a it's like swimsuit material almost. Kind of. I could see this being used with like at leisure, so like just hanging around the house, or I can even see this at church, right? Well, this is sure. very versatile. And yeah, I mean, it's no, there's nothing. It's, it's a nice top. But... It's a very nice top, and it's lined. Mm -hmm. We'll prove that for any occasion, I say. Huh? Lush. Forty-two dollars. Plain gray, high-low, roll-up sleeves. I'm gonna say it's a polyester. What's up? What mean? What's high-low? When the the back is oh, longer, longer than, than the, the front. Front. Okay. Good question. Yes, I didn't know that term. Yes, you're doing excellent. Now, um, but is every those are only female shirts that can be a high-low? Because uh, or boy shirts, boy shirts are always the same in the front, aren't they? No, sometimes they're a little bit lower in the back. And I probably should say. And I've told you, and you, of course, have the power to edit it out or I not. Do. But uh, when I, I say I don't think of boy, males, females. I, mean, I say boy, girls. I meant men. I know what you meant. Yeah. We got you. Okay. I still see you. Okay. Next is a Fila lime green forty dollar forty dollar. <laughs> right? Come on now. Forty. Oh, it does feel really nice. Well, it's a very light material. It's seamless, too. That's really nice. Um, well, when you say seamless... There's, there's... not a seam that goes... Oh, okay. Most shirts have, like, okay. a seam. Okay. No, this is just... That's actually a really nice shirt. What size is that? I am going to say small. <laughs> is it? Medium. Medium. Yeah. Made well. Very nice. This is, like, J. Crew's sister. Love child? I don't know. <laughs> Made well. Uh, size small. Retailed for seventy nine fifty. Sorry. sorry about my voice. I'm getting over a cold. Cropped. I'm gonna say rayon wide leg pants. So this is made to look like a skirt or pants. Yeah, kind of like a gaucho. Oh, they're pockets. Very nice. Okay. You know, gauchos like kind of like a. Well, when you say gaucho, I just picture a cowboy in chaps. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's what I... Okay, not that then. <laughs> okay. Well, this feels really nice, too. I'm taking you. Oh, I think I had this last time, did I? This is Babo. Okay. Uh -huh. In a size large. Now, is, is this a French person? This. Uh, I have no idea. I think because... it's a Nordstrom brand. Well, I mean, the Babu guy. Is he perhaps French and then Babu? 
instead of Bobo. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, well, I was just. Skirt is a size large, and it could be a skirt or it could be a dress. I was going to ask why it was so long. It is very long, so it's a maxi skirt. Yeah. You could probably even fold over the waist like a yoga fold over waist, and it retailed for forty eight dollars. It's it's got a very nice feel to it. Well, it feels soft, but I wouldn't like that material. No, you wouldn't. Okay, then we have, oh, a Nike sweatshirt. It's a hoodie, right? It's, it is a hoodie. Yeah. Size small, retailed for $50. Classic heather dark gray. Now, is there a technical name? Is this a pouch? That is a kangaroo pocket. Kangaroo pocket. Okay, yeah. that's the name for that. Embroidered, really nice white classic. This comes up high, so like it's a built-in scarf almost. Oh yeah, cool. I'm guessing my sister might want this. She could maybe rob a bank with that. Just put sunglasses on. <laughs> right? Lee, if you're planning on robbing a bank, this is but the, seriously, yeah. she gets first dibs on. But that. not only robbing, but robbing in style. I mean, <laughs> come on, yeah. This is <clears throat> another Caslin, uh, extra extra small petite. So like the very smallest size ever. Okay. Beige linen top, compare it $69. I kind of love this. This would be great over like a black dress or an Easter. It's fancy enough to put with a skirt, like a floral skirt. This this looks like something, because I was trying to picture who that would be. Yeah. My cousin Sandy that passed away. Yes. She was very small. She yes. was very small, so she probably would have worn something like that. Yeah. I'm into that, surprisingly. Yeah, it's nice. yeah the color is. Unique. It's a cool material, too. I like the material. I think it's linen. Well, but what are these little bump things? What do you call that? Um, I mean, bumps. I okay. have no idea. Yeah. I like a nubby texture. Okay. Then we have a halogen top, retailed for $59, and lipstick red. Look at these sleeves with me. So there's a whole bunch of ruching right at the shoulder with a bow and then the sleeve gets really big. Okay, ruching. Now, I I'm, I think I've heard that term before, but it's like, what is it? It's just this, when you gather stuff together, it's ruching. Yeah. So that ruching could be anywhere. Like yes. on drapes, for example. Sure. People have ruching. Anything could be ruched. I mean, like, <laughs> anything could be ruched. That's not a problem. It can't be right, right? Ruching. I think you so. Say, no, you can't. <laughs> I can That's make a, it a verb. The process of ruching, no. Here is another halogen piece. This one is wool. Yeah. Extra yeah. large, retailed for seventy-nine dollars. And again, this is a uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. This okay. is a cardigan. It is. Because it's not a sweater, but it's just like you know. a cardigan duster. So that makes it longer. Longer, and it has pockets, and the color is like they're calling it pink adobe. It's like a top pink. Don't you agree? It's kind of like a toppy pink. Merino wool acrylic. Yeah, that's that's a super nice just pullover piece. Oh, this one's so fun. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt you. That's okay. But I have to stop for a, a song reference. Do it. Well, nobody's gonna know the song, but it is a guess who song, so. Oh, maybe I'll know it. <laughs> How many years of marriage did it take you to know that Burton Cummings was a piano player and not Chuck Berry, the guitar player. Well, I'm gonna say I just found that out. Right, so 16 exactly. and a half there years. You go. There you go. So anyways, so um, on the So Long Bannantine record, he says he's going on tour. So one of the lines from the song, when you said it in here, hello, my Chevrier Adobe. In other words, his Chevy house. He was touring, oh, but he was just going to okay. be living in his car and tour like, you know, in the old days, that before the band was big, that's what they did. So he said, hello, my Chevrier Adobe. Will you sing it for us? <laughs> Let me see if I can remember. Hello, my Chevrier Adobe. I am so proud of it. Speak so loud of it always. Beautiful. <laughs> hello, my Chevrier Adobe. <laughs> Next is BCBG Generation, retailed for $138 with metallic gold. It's like spots, like leopard spots. And I'm going to say what we have here is back to back cardigans. It's a cardigan! But not a duster. Not a duster. It is a, a tunic length cardigan. 
so you could wear leggings with it and not show your butt. Do you know what I mean? I, I do know what you mean, but I'm trying to decide why that's called a tunic. I have no idea. But the, a, there's a jacket called that too, right? Like a tunic a top. one? A top could be a, a tunic. A top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All but right. um, leopard spots are very in right now. So yeah. this is really nice. I'm sorry to belabor a point, but isn't tunic yes. also associated with some sort of religion or not? Uh, turban? No, 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 a tunic. There's a certain jacket the priests wear or something, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. Okay. We'll open that up. <laughs> yeah. Teach us. Well, I don't know. Whoa. This looks like an ugly sweater competition, right? This is Solutions. It retailed for $85. This, you could go as an Easter egg. Yeah, it does have those things that go around you like it. It's a dress. It's a dress? It's a dress. Oh, okay. I think it's a dress. Well, it's not I'm very long. I'm eight. Oh, okay. It, it comes yeah. to the top oh, it's, of my... Not, yeah, um, you could wear it as a dress. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> could you imagine why? But it is very interesting. I could see somebody... I'm, the, this stripe is gorgeous. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's sparkly. Yeah, I don't know what solution this is for. Like, mm -hmm. what was the question? What was the problem? Yeah. <laughs> what was the problem in the first place? Somebody needed this color, but very Instagrammable. Love it. We love sparkly things. Yes. Oh, swimwear. This is Sam Edelton. Edelston? Edelman. Sam Edelman. Now, does Sam only make bathing suits? I don't think so. I think he makes shoes, too. So Sam makes shoes and bathing suits. He might make clothing in general. I love the color. Okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, you understand there's a there's a huge chasm between yeah, a guy yeah. that just makes <laughs> bathing suits and shoes and yeah. a guy that makes all class. Yeah. That's all I was asking. I don't know. Uh, it is a size medium, I think. Yep, medium retailed for $38. It's very crisscross applesauce. I don't know if oh, and it's a bodysuit. It's not a swimsuit. It's a bodysuit. So there's snaps at. I'm gonna use the word crotch. <laughs> I don't know any crisscross songs. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, crisscross makes you jump. Um, oh, makes you jump. Okay, but um, it, it, are there people out there that only make swimming suits, for example? Sure. That seems like an odd job, right? That, I mean, I mean, I mean, so. man's been. How, how many swimming suits can you make, really? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Well, I guess oh, I, 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 <laughs> I guess what I'm getting at is I guess there it's the design of the bathing suits basically. Are you saying the designs different? <laughs> same for me, you know what I'm saying? Like I, swimsuits, like they're, yeah, swimsuit they're, they're, they're the same forever. Yeah. Like what kind of jobs that to be a swimsuit designer? Oh, there are so many different swimsuits for females. There's okay. one shoulder, two shoulder, bandeau top. Yeah, I know there is. That just seems weird, though. It the, seems like a, okay. Well, it's because you're. But how, but how do you get to? Be, but does this guy grow up and go? You know what? I want to be a swimsuit designer one day. I think people fall into it. <laughs> We're moving on. Okay. These are gorgeous. This is the cigarette leg by AG, and this this should sell for about forty to sixty dollars. I would say the Prima cigarette leg. Let's see what size this is. If this is my size. They're jeans, is that what they're? 28, yes. Oh, they're stretchy jeans. They're very stretchy jeans. Okay. But in a very dark wash. I love them. AG does really well too. You know, just for our viewers to know out there. Yeah. I do not put any of that stuff on for the camera. I will be asking her about that later because I want more of that story. Oh, about the swimwear? <laughs> yeah, because I, I can't imagine a guy getting up and going, oh, I want to be a swimsuit designer, and going, yeah, this is what I have to do to become that. They're like, he's just making that up. He doesn't really want to know, but no, I really want to know. These are the same brand, Caslon, size 32, so a bigger size, the Kick Out Crop Vista. Medium wash, they retailed for $79, and they're crops, I guess they what? are. What do you mean crops? Uh, they're cropped. They're not a full length. Oh, I would say those are full length jeans, aren't they? No, well, the tag says they're crops. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they yeah, are they're crops. definitely crops. They're crops, okay. At least on me. Uh, now, did you know this name? Cause you... I did. It's oh, a okay. Nordstrom brand. Okay. And another pair of jeans. These are Hudson. These are a phenomenal brand. Retailed for. 
I don't know. <laughs> the uh, sale price was $89.97. So size 29 Hudson Tom jeans. Okay. A now more of a skinny fit. Once again, Hudson, does this guy make, or person or company make, only jeans, or they make a whole bunch of stuff for uh, They're known for their jeans. I don't okay. know if they make other things at this point. Right. Very nice. Oh, they're ankles. Ankle Krista Super Skinnies. So, okay, so who is Ankle Krista as opposed to Hudson? Hudson's the brand name. Okay. Ankle's the length. Krista is the <gasps> style. <laughs> Krista is the style. Okay, all right. <laughs> wow, this guy really does not know anything about jeans at all, does he? <laughs> no, I know nothing about them. Really? Okay. Now we got into tank tops. This is Tucker and Tate. This is a girl's. Retailed for $19. Size fourteen sixteen. So this could also be a small women's, like an extra small women's, but it's girls. Now again, is that size just an arbitrary number or is that months or something? Is that, is no, it's, it's just arbitrary it, number. It's vaguely years. Vaguely years, 14, okay. Then we have a bound, $15. I couldn't tell you if this is a skirt or a top. Well, do these things give it away at all? No. Maybe, to somebody. I, you think it's a top, right? No, but I was top. asking you a question. Does that give it away? Does it? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, well, then, no. I, I, I would say that's a skirt if I didn't know any better, but no, that's probably a top. top. That's a top. Yeah, Because it's a tube top. Because it's a tube top, and then it's top. got some, um, yeah. so what size is this? Medium. Those are just a hanging, maybe. Those yeah, ones. yeah, I think so. Then we have another abound piece size small. This retailed for $9.97. These are very cheap pieces. So these pieces I won't get. So, oh, these would be, this would be an example of something you might get, for example, what do you think? Three four, four bucks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, we try to present it all here, the good, the bad. <laughs> this box came really quickly, too. It came within a couple days of ordering it. So yeah. that was really nice. Do we mention again, though, about the lining? Oh, I know. The box wasn't lined. It was pouring out yesterday. I was at the worst day of my cold. Bear brought in the boxes quickly, but if there's what is well, I said the one was, on the side because it was it was wet already. Was it? So yeah. I'll have to see. Yeah, I'd love for them to throw some trash bags in, but I get it. Okay. Not everybody will. This looks like some kind of beach cover, but in satin. Uh, well, is this robe-ish, like out of the shower type Maybe. of thing? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Shimmera large. There's no retail price on it. White snow marked stripe. Okay. Ooh. BP bodysuit size extra extra large retail price $29. Uh, now, all bodysuits snap in the crotch. Is that the deal? Usually. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Another abound piece, size large, retails for $15. So these are the cheaper pieces, clearly. BP oh. Extra Extra Large retailed for $29. How's that? And that's an extra, extra large for a female? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look very big. I didn't think it was very big. But sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, that would fit you. Yeah. Okay, well, I won't be trying this on. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck, Jim. Size small, retailed for $25. Little tie. Now, this has a little bit of, I don't know if it's just dust. I think it's a thread that was woven in. I bet you if I got tweezers and pulled it, yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's just a little loose thread got caught. Another good luck gem piece, extra large, $25. Oh, same this is kind. Sort of thermal yeah. material. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that black and white? Yeah, black and white. Uh, okay. Right? Uh, I, I, could, I could go for brown there on that, actually. I don't think brown. I was thinking dark green. Oh, no. I would go for brown if not, not black. No, that's black. It is black. Though? It okay. is black. Okay. Black pants by good luck gem. Retailed for $27, size extra large. This has a paper bag waist. 
So when the waist <laughs> cinches in like a paper bag, yeah, you get this like. You know, if you had a brown paper bag and you cinched yes, it, yes, I do know. it has this like extra flappy bits. Yes, in fact, wouldn't that turn into a rustling? If you crunched it? No, isn't that what you said a gathering is? It rustle? What do you... It's ruching. Ruching. But so close. Ruching, okay. But is that what the bag would do then? Ruching? You would have a rush, little bit. Ruching then. Yes, yeah, so I know sure. What you're okay. Okay. Ruching. I was trying to use my newly found knowledge. <laughs> that wasn't too good, obviously. Good vibes, aren't I have no idea. On fire. This looks like a biker shirt or something. Yeah? This is something. On fire. That's all it says. This looks like... Something. Why are you holding those so far back? Just so somebody you... can see them. Oh, okay. Right. This is no one cares. <laughs> That's so funny. $13. Just a ribbed... What size are we? It's just a tank top, correct? Yeah, a ripped tank top, size large. Spaghetti straps. <laughs> then we have a lime blue cropped size large with a little split V-neck. Ten bucks. What um, kind of straps are these? They're not spaghetti, so... Probably just tank straps, like okay. one and a half inch right. wide tank straps. We're getting to some just basic... Cheap this one pieces. has something on it here in front. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this has something major. Yeah. Again, I'll count the pieces, set the ones aside if we have the, the full number. But this retailed for $20, but this is damaged. Oh, look how tiny this top is! Retailed for $9.97. Lime blue, size medium. Well, it's the same size as the other one, right? I think so. Okay. They are getting down there. Okay. Oh, I could feel the box is soaked. Yeah. This oh, I guarantee it's sitting on the carpet. Okay. I am digging whatever these two things are. Oh, yeah. Ocean Drive. These are totally me. What size are you? You are a medium. You might be mine. Oh, I can see that in your closet. $20 and definitely mine. Yeah. Size medium, twenty dollars. I don't know. Will the yellow blend in with the? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if a medium is going to fit. Honestly, I might be a large. This is another abound top ivory, fifteen dollars. Size medium. This I'm going to just let you feel what this weighs. Free I can press. tell. Us. Yeah. No, no care. Well, I can tell it's heavy. It's so heavy. Free press clothing, size large, retailed for $29. I can tell it's heavy by, and here's the term you use, by its fall. Mm -hmm. Then we have a gray something. A gray t-shirt, PST, Project Social T, size extra large, $14.97. So with the cheaper pieces, what I'm going to do is lot them up and sell them on Mokari because it won't make sense. My health is not good enough to list just a hundred pieces. It would probably take me months. So to recoup some of the, the fees, basically, I'm going to lot those up. So if you're interested, check the description below. First box empty. Okay. Now we're going to take a break. Take a break. So we just counted the pieces from the first box and we have 54 pieces. So the few flaws aren't a big deal now. That's how you feel about me too, right? <laughs> he has no flaws. Oh, please. No, come on. Mm. Okay. okay. Second box. Okay. Hiatus. twenty-four ninety-seven size small. This is a black crepey little shirt. I, I know I should know what crepey is, but I forget. I'm sorry. I just feel it. It's like a crepey feel. Oh, the so material. That's, okay. Mm -hmm. right. This never sounds very encouraging. Crepey? Yeah, you know, it's too close to creepy, I think. Oh, this is a nice dress. Who makes this? Uh, Halston. Very nice Halston. We already covered the Billy Joel Halston dress song. Yes, this is gorgeous. This is Halston Heritage, size 2. Retail for $375. So, 
I'm going to I'm going to point this out. Here, hold hold one of those. Okay. So the back is mesh. I don't know if that'll come across with a tuxedo stripe and then the rest of the dress is done in a very heavy kind of a silk and when you turn it around put, holds up here now. okay sorry <laughs> um it cuts in and then cuts out but the way it cuts out it kind of creates like a little bit of a caped effect very cool okay and i'd like to say to my viewers that the reason i know so quickly that that song is from the billy joel song the big shot is because you told us ah. remember i said i don't remember what it is and they sold it quickly that's so nice yeah top shop Uh, retailed for $55, US 6. Now, this, this is a very cropped, oversized, yes. loose wool piece. I don't want to touch that anymore. <laughs> okay. Caslon, again, which is a nice name, but not like super high end. Extra small. This is reminding me a little bit of Lululemon, okay. but in a knit. Just the styling, like the asymmetrical kind of moto, moto, moto. <laughs> I realize how terribly fake I just was when you said, remind you of Lululemon, and I said, I agreed. That was being terribly <laughs> fake, because I have no idea what that meant. But I know it's like sweater material, does that mean anything? Yes. Okay. Is that Lululemon-ish sweater material? No, sometimes it's oh, not. See. This is Love 5 Extra Large, retailed for 27 Tell me what kind of waist this is. Oh my gosh, you can get that into, uh, I keep screwing up this word, ruching? It's not that one. It's the actual thing that, the paper bag, it's called a paper bag. A waist. cinch, cinch waist. No, it's literally called paper bag. <laughs> oh, you gave me the answer. I thought, okay, I thought that was a hint. No, 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 no. it's a paper no. bag waist. Okay, because you did say when you cinch it up, so I don't yes. think it was a cinch waist. Nope, okay. but close, <laughs> not close. <laughs> Eileen Fisher, size 2X, so nice, black, oh, it's got like a capelet sleeve. The sleeve is completely open on the bottom, so it creates movement when the person walks. Look at all that movement. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. It's just a black top though, right? It I is. Mean, it's silk. Okay. It retailed for $348. It's a 2X. Okay, well I appreciate your enthusiasm for it, but it seems to the be... The styling, I know it just looks like a black top. Okay. But look at those sleeves, like... Yes. Now, what, what, could other things have those sleeves? <laughs> sure. <laughs> other... <laughs> like, you know, I mean... <laughs> What do you got in mind here? Well, I just meant like if this was on another shirt, but aside from this one, would it still be a cape sleeve I, or? It, it's not a cape sleeve. I'm just calling it that because it like oh. creates a cape over your sleeve. You, like your you, do, you do realize how terribly confusing this is going to be throughout our marriage. <laughs> if you continue to just make up words and I have no idea what, like, oh, it's, it's not a, a black top. <laughs> I am living for those Eileen Fisher pieces, though, because those will do really well. Although, I do say in my performances at the retirement homes many times, and this is true, that my dad never really knew a full song. He would just make up words as he'd go along. And sometimes they wouldn't even be real words. They would just be like... Give us an example. Uh, Kusliu, Kusli, or something. You know? <laughs> he would say stuff like that. This is We the Free, Free People. This looks like true garbage, but this retailed for $68, and this is free people. It's just that loose look that, like, celebrities go for, but yeah. looks... Yeah. Actually, are there holes in it? There are holes in it. There are actual, actual holes. Actual in it. holes. So they think that's cool, I guess. Well, I'm wondering if the holes are supposed to be there, but they're so... They're all over it, so I'm guessing it is. Okay. I'll look it up, but the holes might be there. Okay. On purpose. Lafayette 148, size 1X, another fantastic piece, retailed for $228. Oh, okay, again, this is a top, right? It's a top. Okay. Fill the material. I feel the material, yeah, yeah. Look at this tiny little... Yeah, is that is it all diamonds nice. in there? Yeah. Is, that what they, is that what you're going to tell me? Because then I'll be like, oh, okay. It's got a black satin piping, like a really thin piping. It's very cool. 
and then a very fine, almost jewelry-esque, like silver tone bead, but it's such a small bead. Well, I mean, had you been describing a food, they should be salivating at this point. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Okay, we have some bottoms. Oh, these are the pants I fell in love with last time. They're the same size, darn it. These are the Sejour. Let's pretend that's the thing. Sejour, I would say. And they have that weight to them. I did sell these in my last box. I loved these. I wish they sold these in my size. They don't. $89. Okay. Oh, this is very cool. This is Hound's Tooth. Now that's the, when you say Hound's Tooth, that is the pattern, right? And Correct. the color, everything. Or could it be a different color? It could be a different color hound's okay. tooth, but usually it's black and white. Okay. This doesn't feel like a super expensive. LED size medium, um, retailed for $54. Okay. But great career piece. It's got a midi length, so it's not ankle, it's not short. So it makes it a good like church skirt, career skirt. It sounds like a three bear store. The three bears? It's yeah, the not. Three bears. <laughs> the porridge. Uh, Dad used to make those up as well. Hmm. Uh, this might be mine. Okay. This is the only thing I kept in my last box. It was H by Bordeaux. This is a size large though, so this might be too big on me. Retailed for $88. Again, just a black top, right? It is a black okay. top. There is a little bit of um, like a scalloping at the side where it goes up on the side, which is really nice because if a woman has curves, it accommodates curves a little better. Okay. Then we have a completely see-through item. This is... Well, so some of the other stuff. I'm wondering mm. if this is a lining. This doesn't say. 2X Nordstrom Rack Coastal Palms. There's no brand on it. Maybe if you wore this under the black thing with the holes in it, you'd have eventually it. <laughs> oh, not your daughter's jeans. Size 2X. It's like a camisole. It's like a slip type of thing, right? I, I, well, I was going to ask you what it was. Is that, is that yeah. going under a dress? Is that what happens? That or under a top of some top? kind, okay. just to add another layer. Vince Camuto, size 10, retail for $99. These are some cropped career pants, navy with a dotted white stripe, like a really thin stripe. Okay, yes. Next up. We have some jeans, tiny jeans, Lynn, Raw One. I have no idea who makes those jeans. They're heavy. They're heavy jean material. G-Star Raw. Is, okay. that, is that the artist or something? Yeah, oh. I guess so. They're a size 25 by 30. But I'm guessing they're women, so 25 is the waist. They are the Lynn mid Skinny woman slander blue super stretch medium aged. Come on, man. Gee. I bet you these are expensive. If this is raw denim, um, let's see if there's a salvage. No, there's not. Oh well, a little it's, bit it, of a salvage. Well, inside's not. It's why is it different color inside? Because it's it's not real denim. It's oh. like a jegging type. Oh, thing. see, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. But raw denim is pricey, so I'll have to check on that. Now, why? What What benefit is these people to have all those words listed? I don't know. Okay. Makes my eBay title really easy. <laughs> Here is another pair of the same, same jeans. Same size, same aging process. Same okay. thing. Love that. Then I can just list two and good to go. Oh, this is lovely. What is this? Accessory Street. Retailed for $42. This is like a nightgownish thing, right? I think it's more like a vest. You would just put it over like a long dress or jeans and a tank top. It's an accessory layering piece. This is something you would wear out on top of something? Sure. Now, I almost always get into trouble when I ask this question, but, Go for I, but I have to ask this. Who would wear who would wear a thing like that and what would they be wearing under? What can you give me sure. an example of a lady? I can give you all sorts well, but, of examples. And again, also yes. I'm sure that the example you give me is only gonna be an example and there's, there's of course there's gonna be sure. a whole bunch of people. Okay, so I picture somebody going to Coachella in this. Oh, okay. They're wearing 
in very short frayed distressed shorts okay. and like a thin camisole and okay. maybe have on like a flower crown and then they put this on and they have boots on and this is like flowing behind them as they walk okay you know what you put in my head right there what paris hilton <laughs> that's all you said well no i'm just no i'm just saying that's what i that's who when i say what type yeah. of person wears sure. this and you you know it's not it's not a housewife somewhere it could be it could be but sure. basically speaking okay so thank you yes sure. I understand. then we have hinge hinge De designed in seattle okay 49 dollars. this is another robe shrug shrug is that the right word i don't think that's the right word like an over piece. I don't think it's a dress. I think it's just meant to go over something, whether that be a robe or okay. over a tank top. I okay. Think. What type of music was birthed in Seattle? Indie. Really? You don't really know? I really don't. Grunge rock. Oh, grunge rock. Nirvana. Okay. This is one size. Okay. Nirvana. I've noticed that there are no security tags so far. Oh, that's good. So, so apparently these were all legally purchased. <laughs> BCBG Generation retailed for $38. This is another one of those Coachella pieces. I was going to say, is this going to Coachella too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All of the pieces are going to Coachella. <laughs> this is like a kimono, a true kimono, because it, it's a, a rectangular shape. Well, to your credit, I must say that you have done an excellent job of explaining one going to Coachella as someone who would never, ever be within a thousand miles no. away. No. <laughs> it's amazing that you're able to even... Here's how close I get to Coachella. You know what Coachella is. Yes. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll That's listen it. to Pentatonix <laughs> from my bed. That's about it. Okay. Good luck, Jim. They really like these. This retailed for $49.00. Bright orange, wide leg, love, love, love. What size are these? Extra large. If these would have been black, I might have tried these on. Perhaps one could wear these to Burning Man. Since we said love Coachella, that. Burning Man. Get them all in. Yeah. <clears throat> I've always thought Burning Man would be a fun place to go. It sounds very hot. It is. It's on the desert, yeah. So, maybe not. <laughs> you talk, <laughs> see how easy you talk me out of that? Top Shop, love the lace detail size eight the price was 35 dollars so this is a cropped top but if you wore high-waisted jeans you'd be fine but look at that lace yeah what's well, very nice but once again i think somebody that wears this they want you to see their stuff they're not trying possibly to, yeah. yeah okay back to some jeans which i am not mad about okay but we haven't got many men's items these are Hudson again, which is a fantastic brand. Retailed for $235. And these are the ones that ankle meant something. I asked you about previously. Yes. Okay. Size 26. Well, these are, are not even hemmed. These, well, that's the style. Oh, Size okay. 26. Oh, that's the style even. Yeah. High rise heartbreaker boot cut. And then the boot cut is um, fringe. Well, I mean, of course, it's a style now. I mean, I of course, I knew that. <laughs> These are cute. So really, it's a style now to not have your... Yeah, to have frayed hems. It's a style. Okay, okay. then we have... What? <laughs> I'm just... I didn't know that was a thing even. You know? Okay. Anything you can do to clothing with scissors is a thing. Yeah. But that was a thing at one time too, wasn't it? Sure, like probably really in the sixties or seventies with the stuff you had to drag it in the yeah, mud. Yeah, okay. that's kind of reminiscent. It'll go to Coachella. Good, not Woodstock. <laughs> Top Shop Moto Lay. These are black jegging. They will uh, fit a waist of twenty-six inches. I'm gonna guess these are. Well, these are very tiny legs. Yes, they are. No, they're, they're, not, they're not not very, just slightly. Okay, seventy-five dollar retail. And I apologize if my endless stories is going to cause you too much editing. No, I love your stories. Okay, but I, I do. Well, since I said Woodstock, CCR. Of course. Was... <laughs> Cadence Clearwater. Not Cadence. Cadence Clearwater. No, not Cadence. Oh, not Cadence. Cadence is the thing we used to play in the drum line, a drum cadence. Okay, CCR. CCR. 
Okay. I know it's cool, if you just, I don't if you tell me who the lead singer is, you're off the hook. <laughs> oh man, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh, I did so good. John Fogarty. John, okay, okay, I do know that. Played, they played at the original Woodstock. Okay. Okay. He is going to do the 50th year anniversary. I think it's in Vegas now. I'm not sure where he is with this. But he's going to do their entire Woodstock set exactly like he did it back in Woodstock. That's, that's, that's pretty fun, that's right? pretty cool. That's fun. I love these. These are the giant boyfriend, oh not giant, Grant. Grant boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-rise ankle in a size 31. Oh, these are men's, right? Are these men's? No, oh. I think they're, because they're boyfriend, I think they're girls, women's. Okay. Made by Treasure and Bond. And somebody told us, um, you can put the number and track your impact on these jeans. So these retailed for $89. So basically they give you a code. Okay. And you put in the code and they'll tell you where the cotton is from, I guess. Okay. Where all the materials are made and how it got made and all that stuff and how it got to you. Right? I see myself keeping these. Is that, I, is that right? What yeah, I yeah, I think okay. so. I right. think so. Right. Plus they give a small percent of the sales to organizations. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. But how much were they retail though? $88, eighty eight oh. dollars, eighty eighty nine dollars. Oh, okay. I, I mean, yes, it's too much for me to spend, but I, yeah. I thought you were going to be something like they're five hundred dollars. No. crazy enough. They might be slightly big on me. I could really use a pair of jeans. I think those look wonderful on you. Thanks. Yeah, I do. Okay, we'll see. Oh, these are fun. Oh, I never want this to end. Oh, Did I say that last? The box. Time? Thing you yes. Stuff? Oh, okay. This is like really fun now. Look at the embroidery cut from the cloth. Oh, gorgeous. Retailed for $89, six petite. These are the Reese ankle straight leg petite. And they have embroidered roses. And? Ah, uh, un unhemmed. This is adorable. A bound retailed for $22. And the size I don't know if it feels is cheap. It's just light, extra large. It's lighter material. Yeah, it, it's not polyester. Is no. it polyester? I don't it think could so. be cotton. If you are going on vacation, it's cotton. Yes. So yeah, you're right. It's not super cheap. Right. Just not a lot of fabric. Mm -hmm. There you go. Next piece. This is the second piece we've had in this exact thing. The other one was a different color. This is an extra large Caslon. Retailed for sixty-nine dollars. This is they're a, calling it gray. Oh no, that's not gray. Right? Yeah, that's. It's like I mean, a it could very be very white mauve. Yes. Tan? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's got a little bit of a pinkish thing happening, I think. Slightly, maybe, yes. Maybe. Yes, but it's definitely cafe au lait. <laughs> is this another made-up word? No. <laughs> Oh, I like this top. So you're keeping this for you? Maybe. I okay. will look at it. It has a slit in the back okay. and a keyhole. Uh huh. This is just, I, now, I don't know if I need another That's piece always of that. called a keyhole in the back? Yes. Okay. You can have a keyhole in the front too. Okay. The keyhole just means literally like a peekaboo where it's attached on the bottom and top. Well, just let me say that I'm all for keyholes in the front. <laughs> So, I mean, if you have to put it somewhere, like in this area, I'm, I'm voting for the front. Yes, so, for the keyhole. So, if this was like buttoned here, this would be a keyhole. Yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> these look soft. Oh, these are cool. Alternative extra large retailed for $32. Hold, hold those up. Very fun. Okay. Very well, I mean, it's a terry cloth are, material like insert. Track suitish. Yeah, I like call them at leisure. Like, at leisure, you're okay. going to watch Netflix and, and eat a whole bunch of food. That sounds like an activity I might be involved in later. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is another leaf piece. Mm -hmm. I also love this. Now, this is a $59 size small. This is a, what is this? This is a top. <laughs> okay, well, what, it's so long though. I mean. Okay, so the top only goes to your waist. Right, of and course. And then the rest is sheer. Right. So again, this would be somebody wearing it over something. You could wear this over a long velvet skirt. 
Okay. And it would just like the velvet would peek out. But could they or, just wear like black shorts or something? Sure. Yeah. Or denim shorts or oh, okay. white shorts. Right. It just gives that little bit of extra movement. Okay. Pretty. I am also impressed that this guy not only hand writes this, but he spells your name correctly with two L's and two S's. He is so nice. The CEO has been so nice to me. By the way, my girl's not at all snobbish about how she spells her name. It's just that she yeah. does. If people are searching for her, it is two L's and two S's. At the age of 11, I was legally allowed to change the spelling of my name by my parents. I had been spelling it. The wait a second, wait a second. Were you like Catherine Ross or something and then you changed your name to no. Mel So what was your name before you changed your name to Melissa? It was Melissa. <gasps> it was the same. Except it had one L. And I had been spelling Melissa with two L's since I could spell, which was like the age of four. Well, why did you do that? I don't know. I just wanted a second L. It seems more balanced. Oh, so you like the look of it better. I yeah. liked the look I, like, of okay. it better. Like okay. the I needed the double on each side. Well, most of our viewers know how we are with the board and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, they understand that. So, yeah, I understand it as thanks. well. I totally understand. So, continue the story. So anyway, my stepfather was legally adopting my sister and I, I was 11, she was eight and <laughs> to subtract three there um and the judge asked us if we wanted to he was joking legally change our first name and i of course said yes because i had been spelling my name incorrectly with the double l for ages and then he turned to my sister and said would you like to legally change your name and I whispered to my sister, change it to Summer Violet. <laughs> my sister's name is Lisa Marie. And I was trying to get her to change it to Summer Violet. But my mom said no. But she agreed for mine to, to be changed. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. well, yours was so minuscule. Was. That... And I had been spelling it that way. And I've always been glad I changed it. And sometimes now I call my sister Summer Violet. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. This is stunning. Yes. This is stunning. Stunning. Champion spell out. If this isn't vintage, but it's remade, so it looks vintage. It's the reverse weave hood, which is like all the fashion right now. Everything. It's all the rave. Right. Rage? Rave? <laughs> well, I don't know. This, oh, we're hip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Size small, smoked lilac. This is a kangaroo. Go ahead. Kangaroo pouch. Pocket. pocket. Kangaroo pocket. Close enough. Retailed for $70. And I would, it's good. I would call this lavender. I think they called it smoked lilac. Okay, that's good. Oh, we have another cut from the cloth. Nice, size six petite, same size. Super easy to list. I am really sad this is gonna end. Huh. You still have a good bit left over. I do, I probably have 30 pieces or so. Okay. Uh, Caslon 2X light coral. $59. I, we've had several things from this Caslon thing. Yeah. This, do you know them? Have you uh, known them previously? I have known oh. them. They're Nordstrom rack exclusive, I think. Okay. But we didn't get anything from them in the last box. No. But they're fairly well known. I love this. I don't even know what this is. This is Betsy Johnson size large. Feel this. This is Oh yeah, cool. it's uh, thermal like material. Yeah. yeah. Love with a gold, like a, almost a rose gold sparkle. Mm -hmm. And it has slit sides with a placard in gold. The but rose it also gold. has different, what do they call these? These are different lengths. These are a high low. High low. High, high low. low. So waffle weave, what size is this? Large. So, so I how. I don't see any tags on it. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. $58. That, okay. That's a steal for this, honestly. Wow. Okay, come on. Now let's not get too crazy. No, I would have thought that would have been a lot. High, but high low can be square or scalloped. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh, scalloped. Is the word scalloped? Scalloped. We the free. Free people. <laughs> Very nice free people. This is. Layered um, logo by Lori Goldstein does this a lot. This like different kind of material under the material. You know what I'm thinking of now? What? 
I have to give a Stewie reference when you're doing that. Okay. Remember how he did, he used to make fun of millennials? He's like, I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. That's what you reminded me of with all these layers. Yes, very cool. And it kind of looks like it's inside out. Yes. That's free it. people, I'm telling you, you always know free people. It's always funky kind of stuff. So this is a size. Any idea? Um, Small. Okay. Love, love, love. Love. Okay. Oh, this is a weird piece. Have we had any dresses? Just a few. This yeah. is another cover up. This is by Evans, which I've never heard of. Retailed for $59. No, it's a, a, a bathing beach. suit. Yeah, beach, beach cover up. Okay. Nice. Oh, leather skirt. I'm going to say it's faux leather. Let's see if I can get it off of here. Oh, well, I would say it's faux leather too. But. So this is blank NYC, size 24, so a very small waist. Um, Steel Panther, it's called. $70 retail. Designed for you by our New York SETI team in the city that never sleeps because we care. Made in China. I do believe Steel Panther is a band as well. Really? <laughs> I think so, yes. Okay, so this is the front, and then this okay. is the back. Okay. I like the zipper pulls. Yeah. You could very easily, they feel they feel very sturdy. Okay. Very cute. It's fun, yes. Well, this is like a New York City type gal probably wearing that, right? To some I club no or something? Idea. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Good luck, Jem. Extra large. I wanted these in black, and now I have them in black. Okay, go. Cool. Now I'll be trying on. Now, is this something you wear, like, to go to doctor appointments or something yeah. like that? Okay. Another pair of denim. Black orchid. Very nice. They're stretchy. They are stretchy. And now, these aren't real. Are these real denim? Because they're the, cotton stretch. Well, the other, because the insides should look the same in, in, in real jeans, right? Like my, you know, Levi's, for example, the okay. inside looks the same as the outside, right? Because it's sometimes. Okay. These these do have a denim look. This is also very cool when they cut the high low and then the raw. <laughs> okay. High low and then the raw. Okay. okay. So these are the Miranda off step. High rise, skinny, 10 inch rise in a size 26 cotton elastine. Now, the 10 inch rise, that's the crotch. Yeah. Okay. So these are very skinny, mm -hmm. high rise jeans. I could totally picture these on a dancer, like off season or just in her spare time with ballet flats, right? Because of how stretchy they are, like the long, lean look. Sure. Love those. I hate these. <laughs> <laughs> well, you this? don't like the material. It's yes. like right Amanda on. and Chelsea, I think they're polyester. Cool. Six petite polyester viscose. Yeah. And they retailed for $40. The one thing, you never have to iron this stuff though, right? That is true. They look like crops, but I'm guessing that's because they're petite. So, I mean, it's like people in business, or, you know, professionals wouldn't have yes. to iron that much. You know what? If you weren't a petite, mm -hmm. you could totally pull these off as like a crop pant. Okay. You don't think anybody's talking to be like, hey, we know that's not a crop, <laughs> crop pant. Oh, love this. Who makes this? This is Babo. Size medium. Retailed for $78. This reminds me of Prada. Let me think of the season. It was either a spring summer season, which had fairies on it. And they were like hand sketched fairies in the forest and like wildflowers. This is giving me a little bit of that vibe. Just like wildflowers all over it. Oh, love that. Pretty. Well, I must admit, I'm having a little trouble picking up on your vibe. <laughs> it's trying. I love that collection by them. This is Code Mode. Mm -hmm. Size large, $25. Cute. 
just a blue little ruffle. Keyhole, Keyhole. and it's royal blue, I would say. I would say. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Babo Petite. This is a small petite. Let's see what we got here. This is really nice. This has that. It's not high low. I don't. Oh, I think it's high low. High low with the layer, and the back is split at the top with a bow, and then this falls open to reveal like the more satiny material. Okay. So there's a piece of tape. No, there's not. <laughs> Coral, Caslon, size extra large. I appreciate the bigger sizing. This is embroidered, very oversized look. Coral Rose Area Embroidered Shirt. I don't see the price, but I like the split neck with this like little drawstring tie. Then you'd have a keyhole. You would. <laughs> What color is this? Salmon. Good luck, Jim. Retailed for $25. Yeah, that really is kind of like a... Salmon, man. Salmon. It's very stretchy, too. I think we have a little bit of a pick here. Hmm. See where the fabric is? Yep. I'm not yes. going to pull at it, but um, so that would be defective. Let me see, we've got 10 or 15 more pieces. Okay. We have that one. All right. Um, we have this one. These are Good Luck Gems. We've seen these before. This one is black, white, large. This one is burgundy, maroon, um, large. So, there you go. Okay. Here is Z by Zella, size large. Retailed for $15. No. Okay. Z, that is, she's, he or she is the designer? Yes. And the maker of that? Correct. And they probably make other shirts or something. Sure, so Zella, what I'm thinking is when a creator starts, we're gonna have to change the battery. So what usually happens with a designer is, let's say the name is Zella, and then they'll make a lesser line. So this Z by Zella might be their lesser line or like a more athletic line. My second roommate in college. Okay. Um, Size large. My buddy that I still am friends with. In fact, last time I was back in Pennsylvania, I saw him, Don Donnie Mack. He's my one of my roommates. His mother's name was Zella. Really? Yes. That's very uncommon in such a country yeah. part of. Yeah, she's passed now. Very rural. She uh, her name was Zella. Yeah. I love that name. I think Zella could make a comeback. Right? Couldn't you? You know what is making a comeback? Uh, come. I don't. I don't really want to say it's a comeback. Okay. Because uh, to quote LL Cool J, "Don't call it a comeback," because we've been here for years. The Melissa Magic. The Melissa Magic is here to stay. I'm moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Boy, I like I'm, this I'm making it a thing. Good luck, Jim. This one's slightly different. Size extra large. It has a pocket, and it has elastic with um, a little drawstring. Yeah. I love this. Do you, would you, wouldn't that mess you up a little bit? Like, not mess you up, you know what I mean? You mean like, the stripes going? Yeah, I don't, it, there's something I don't like about it. Because that. they're perfectly perpendicular. Okay. I'm okay. If okay. it would have been off center, I would have been. I don't even really like up. that. Yeah, but at least there's an angle. Yes, I, I agree with the yeah, clean angles. Yes. This is Joe Fresh, size large, retailed for $19. Just a really cute spring top, summer. Yeah. And yet another oh, one okay. in a size large. But now this this doesn't look like it would sell for too much either. I'm gonna say maybe eight, ten bucks. Okay. Oh, this is adorable. Joe Fresh, size small, retailed for twenty four. So hold this up. Okay. This is one of those things that goes off the shoulders but has the straps. You yes. could tuck in the straps yep. or just cut them off. But this feels very much like um, a chambray. Let's mm -hmm. see if it is. This is what girls wear to summer fair festivals. I agree. Uh, linen viscose. So, yeah. Love, love, love. Susina, size large. 
retailed for $17. It is pink with a pale blue gray stripe. Yes, I, yes. I'm, I'm leaning more towards gray. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cute. Mm -hmm. This is Good Luck Gem. We have a lot of Good Luck Gem pieces. $25. Just truly the most boring beige <laughs> pants ever. No, it's Good Luck Gem of the division of Nordstrom as well. I'm guessing it must be. Oh, is this another one? Good Luck Gem, size medium. Another pair of career pants. They are like soft to wear. They don't, they're not very like stiff and structured, mm -hmm. but I think they are kind of career pants. I would agree. If I had a career, I might wear this. <laughs> this is Ruffy. Ruffy, yeah. Um, one size, this is a, one of those put on vests and go to Coachella type of thing. <laughs> That's what we're calling them. Coachella's our go-to now. Yeah. Well, Firefox. Fire Festival. What was Burning that? Man. Burning no. Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. What is this? Top Man. So this is a men's piece. It's a man shirt? Yes. Okay. I think. Alright. U.S. Extra Large. Retailed for $30. I like that it has vintage colors. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. That would probably fit you. It might. What do you think? I think I'm never going to wear that. Yeah, the colors are so odd. It's like salmon and blue. I like them. Do you? Yes. Huh. Yes, I do. Yeah, interesting. That was our first piece of men's, I think. Um, Socialite Extra Large retailed for $20. This is either a halter or a tube top. It is a tube top. With a keyhole. With a keyhole. Learning. <laughs> this is adorable. This is a tank top by Love 5, size medium, retailed for $18. Hold this. Okay, so what makes this adorable to me is the print, this black and white stripe, and then there's little roses. And then turn it around. Nope, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Hmm. And there's a little bit of lace. So pretty. Another basic piece, Caslon, extra small, cotton. It's got some ruching. Ruching, okay. I see so, you can gather it up there. Yep, you can gather it up. And coral, it's pretty plain. Retailed for $29. This seems like a men's as well. No, made well. This is the J. Crew sister line, I'm calling it. Okay. Um, I think it's is it cut on a bias. Okay, so it, this did you say is it cut on a bias? Yes. It's like a tilt, yes. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, yes. Um the stretch still goes across rather than diagonally, but the pattern was cut on a bias. This was originally 1950. Um, I would keep this, except it has kind of a weird feel, even though it's cotton. Yeah. It's got that, like, slub thing happening. I don't know what that is. It's it's like a texture. Okay. That's a real word? Texture? Texture's a real word. Slub. <laughs> slub, yes. Right. The slub's a real word. Yes. Okay. Trouvé. Okay. Made in Cambodia. Um, size large. Retailed for $69. This has a ruffle. Front, just like a v-neck really easy breezy breezy easy breezy piece <laughs> you'd probably need to put something on underneath it because even though it has two layers it's a very sheer and the back has only one layer all right size large and the very last piece this is democracy which I think is a juniors brand Size large, retailed for $58. Feel this this label. Oh, yeah. Is that some sort of material, right? Is yeah, that like I think a, so. Yeah. So this is fairly simple, but then you get to the sleeve, and it has some rivets <laughs> and a black mesh bow. 
So that makes that kind of cool. It makes it a little bit more of a bell shape. Okay. All right. So that is everything in that box. And that box was about $500. So each box was $520, I believe. Now, they did open, Indo Trading USA did open it up to non-members there for a while. I did have to purchase the $38 membership to buy this, the set of boxes. I've noticed, and I will put this on the screen, that they currently have Macy's boxes as well. But the Macy's boxes are about $25 per piece. So these were $10 per piece. Also, the number of pieces you get in there would be a lot less. Correct. Yeah. Unless you wanted to pay, they have boxes for thousands of dollars. Right, right. So that to me, and I read over the labels, and they did have like Eileen Fisher, but some of the labels were Lauren Ralph Lauren, which is a lesser known, maybe like a hundred dollar value. So I'm not going to buy the Macy's box, but I think these Nordstrom boxes are pretty good. I know some people have not been thrilled. Um, some of those people have reason not to be thrilled, honestly, but those people might have purchased boxes where everything was under $30 retail value. I purchased the full price box, not the box that was advertised. All the items are under $30 retail value. Okay. So if you look at my box and you're like, oh, my box looks like junk, Reach out to customer service, give them a couple days. They only work Monday through Thursday. I'm really feeling like this is a group of people. It's a small business, even though they've been at it for seven years, they're trying to expand as fast as they can. Their customer service does seem top notch. I've been thrilled with that. Yes. But is it worth it for a membership? In my mind, if you're just doing Poshmark, eBay, and not Amazon, it might not be worth it. These boxes sold out within nine hours and they're not always available. They have a ton of other stuff. So if you're into Amazon, that might be an awesome thing for you. They can send it directly to the Amazon warehouse for you. But if you're looking to get these kinds of boxes on a regular basis, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. They're trying to make it happen. Okay. But Currently, this yes. is one of the questions I asked you, just to be clear, so we're absolutely clear, yes. you pay $38 a month. a month, that's a monthly fee, you're paying that for the opportunity to next month when they come up with some things for sale, you're a member now, you can purchase that, only members can purchase that, correct? correct? Now, does something come up every month? Things are coming up multiple times a month. And okay. I went on just before we did this earlier today and they still had these Nordstrom boxes. Okay. So even though they had sold out, they must have gotten some more and they are trying to secure more clothing. They have a ton of Macy's boxes, but I just didn't feel like that was a good fit for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're both so, getting over Colts. <laughs> yes, so I'm, in fact, I probably gave it to her, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, we share. Yeah, the good and the bad. You could purchase every day from them if you wanted for that 38 monthly fee. Sure. Okay. You could also, if you would have gotten these boxes and seen that they were really good stuff, you could have went back and said, oh, send me two more of those. As long as they have them in stock. That's what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Sure. Okay. I could go okay. on right now and order okay. them as long as they're in stock. Okay. And I am, I was thrilled with my first box. I am thrilled with these boxes. I mean, the retail on some of this stuff really is 100 to 200. Now you saw pieces for 10, 20, 30 dollars, but within a week or two of only listing 30 pieces, 35 pieces, I've almost made my money back. And with the video, I did. So I have like 70 pieces to go on that first box. And all of that is just profit. So people watching this video, other, yes. other than yes. people that are just very nice and watch and follow sure. us, we appreciate that so very much. Uh, <coughs> this is sort of, if people are considering doing this as a business, like yes. they're buying this stuff to put on eBay though. Yes. Not like what we're doing. They're yes. buying it for eBay. Okay. Yeah, I think one of the reasons we are doing a little bit better maybe than other people is because well, I... We're just better than everybody else. I mean, let's just say that right here. Come on, why not? <laughs> no, no. no. Totally we do have a little bit of a following. 
I post eBay tips, giveaways, my weekly sales over on Instagram, and I have like 11,000, 12,000 people following me there. And we have about five to 6,000 people following us here. Yes, thank you. We are making this a shop with us, so I will have prices. All you have to do is email me, and it's kind of first come, first serve. So my prices will absolutely be lower, and a lot of people comment like, why are your prices so low, which is really nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, and it's because if I send it to eBay, I have to steam the item, professional photos, edit those photos, pay eBay fees, and go through eBay. Here, if somebody buys We're something, passing that same as along to you. Yeah. So Nordstrom <laughs> made Indo Trading the middleman, but now we're the middleman. So there's two middlemen. So you are paying a little bit for that, but if you don't have a Nordstrom. Two middlemen, really? Yeah. We're gonna go with that? Yeah. That, that, that's not a thing. Why? You can't have two middlemen. <laughs> well, what is it? Well, that means you're either a middleman or you're not. You can't have two middlemen, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Economics, I don't know. All right. I took economics, I don't remember it. Well, I'm just talking about, when you're talking about middle, you're talking like, you know, sort of gangsterish kind of stuff. Like, uh -oh. He's the head boss, <laughs> he's the middleman, he's the supplier. Yeah. He, yeah. You can't have two middlemen. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think about the boxes? I think like I always think, and I mean this with all of my heart, and this isn't for the camera, that anything that you say, we're going to take a chance at. I totally trust you, and it's Thanks. fine with me. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. I am loving having inventory delivered. If I could have everything in the world delivered, I am on that train. <laughs> no. and it's not necessarily in her best interest, but it's she fun. does live a bit of a bubble life, which we, you know, we try to work on together, right? Thanks. Yes. So, yes, but she probably would have a lot of stuff delivered if, if you could. Yeah. yeah, it just makes my life a lot easier. Yes, and I, I mean, in fairness, that's mostly because of your disease, your CRPS. And, and my laziness. Well, yes, but I, no, 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 no I, I shouldn't say. No, your laziness is never in the area of any kind of business or employer you're working for. It's always... I love work. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can, we, I mean, if you really want to pinpoint, we can find something wrong with you. But I'd rather not do that here. I hate filling up my ice cube trays. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm the designated ice cube tray filler. You fill up a lot of ice cube trays. Yeah, so that's not, that's not too bad of a job. Yeah. Okay. Have anything else to say? Um, Everything's for sale, except the few pieces I might keep and try on, and those will clearly be marked. Lisa, if you want anything, Mom, if you want anything, anybody else want anything, email me. I do feel a little badly that I, I, that I have screwed up the so long Bannantine story. I know that, you know, I hate to go way back to bring, re-resurrect that little story about the guess who song, the so long Bannantine. Okay. Time. Hello, my Chevrolet Adobe. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So, but, but I, I screwed that up. Okay. Okay. So I think it's only fair to make to it To fix right. it. Okay. Because you know what a huge Burton Cummings fan I am. So yes. I have to make this correct. So, so long Bannantine. <laughs> Bannantyne was a street that he lived on, apparently, okay. in Canada. He's from Canada. Okay. Okay. So he was saying, so long, Bannantyne. Hello, my Chevrolet Adobe. Yes. So the line was, so long, Bannantyne. Ho hello, my Chevrolet Adobe. But I didn't sing that line correctly, I don't think. Why do you keep saying Chevrolet wrong? Chevrolet, because he says Chevrolet. Oh. He says Chevrier. Okay, so he pronounces He's it. He's a rock star, man. He can say it whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. Okay, yes. So, yes. So, so you want to sing it now? <laughs> so long, Bannantine. Hello, my Chevrier home. That's that's the voice that makes the big noise. <laughs> no. But anyways, later on he says, my Chevrier Adobe. Hmm, Adobe. <laughs> I, I, well, actually, I, I've screwed that up again because I finished that <laughs> line. This is hilarious. Seriously, I'm under pressure here. It's so long, Valentine. Well, he says home at one time, so we'll stick with that. He does say home one time, and then another time in the line, he says, So long, Valentine. Hello, my Chevrolet Adobe. Okay. I know that was way too long, but you said earlier. I like, said be as long you, as you yeah, want. Yeah, you said be as long as you yeah. want, so I could tell. Uh, guess whose stories? I love them. Okay. I have more. Would you, would you like? Would you have more? <laughs> no. Maybe just one more. Okay, maybe just one, one more. Maybe just one more. In, one more. in, in, in remembrance of, because you know I'm a sentimental guy. Yes. They, they probably. Do. 
My best friend growing up was actually the reason probably why I am a Burton Cummings fan. His name was Rick Shiley. Yes. And he was my best friend. He literally lived across the corner from me and we played drums together. And I'm sure I've mentioned him before, but he was a super, super talented uh, drummer and musician. And he's no longer with us, uh, but uh, I would look forward to seeing him again. So anyways, he was a huge uh, Burton Cummings fan. So I that's... That's why I'm a, a Burton Cummings fan and know all that. So. You've met Burton many times. I, well, not many. I met, I met him in person once and I, you know, a few stupid little emails. But I, I, of course now he's, you know, he's older, so he's not. But the, I mean, there's, he's still touring, he's still You've touring. only met him once? I only literally met him in person once. It was his up, up close and personal tour where he comes out with just a piano and, you know, does all his songs. But you've been to multiple concerts. Oh yeah, I've been to multiple okay, shows, multiple shows, done. but he actually came to Johnstown one time and played a wow. small gig there one time, uh, but yeah. Okay. So. We are going to clean everything up mm -hmm. and pretend we have a clean house and put everything in the eBay room. Mm -hmm. And then we'll close the curtain and be like, nothing's in there. <laughs> Nothing to see do. in here. <laughs> Nothing to see in here. Stay out of there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching us. I really feel like we have become friends and I've gotten to know so many of you and I really appreciate those relationships. And it allows me to feel like I'm actually socializing with people even though I'm just talking to my camera. But I know you're there. Yes, and they all love you. Mm. Yes. I love them back. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're doing, what are we doing? One, two, three, bloomies. Okay. And we still need a frame for the cross stitch, which is why it's not there, but that is now embedded in my head that it's one, two, three, because Kathy cross stitched it. But oh, way to go, Kathy. Right? Yeah. I know, but I really need to put it there. With our colds and Bear, Bear had oral surgery last week, and then the cold was just like, but yeah. we'll, get, we'll get it up there. But yes. Okay, ready? Oh. One, two, three. Bloomies! We hope, hope your day, day is blooming with joy. Bye. Bye. Yes, I've got heartaches by the number of love that I can win. But the day that I stop counting, that's the day my world will end. Heartache number three was when you called me and said that you coming back to stay oh hard I've waited for your knock on my door I waited but you must have lost your way now I've got heartaches by the number trouble by the score every day you love me less each day I love you Yes, I've got heartaches by the number A love that I can't win But the day that I stop counting That's the day my world will end Kiss me each morning for a million years Hold me each evening by your side